It's so hot. It's so hot here. Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about everything that I bought in the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I got an almost full face of makeup and it was the first time I've purchased a full face of makeup in a really long time. And it's mostly um, luxury beauty that I've been eyeing up slash have had in my loves in on my Sephora account um, for maybe up to two years. So I've really like sat on these products and finally decided to splurge and buy them. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying a lot of these products or I guess all of these products in the B-roll. And uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. Um, spoiler alert, I think I love um, everything that I bought. So, so we're going to start with the first product that I purchased, which is Prism Libre skin caring skin corrector. So this is going pretty viral. Everybody on YouTube and TikTok are talking about this specific concealer. But when I saw the color corrector, I was particularly intrigued. And this is a really beautiful formula. Um, it's very thin. It has kind of a luminosity to it in a way. Um, but when it dries down, it doesn't really dry it doesn't stay tacky it has like a dry down but it's not mattifying it's very luxurious and very interesting um i would say that this specific color corrector um has a very prominent white base in it not in the way that it's gonna make anyone look ashy or anything like that but in the way that it has more white than it does green. So I think that it can suit a variety of different skin tones, um, even if you aren't like a fair olive like myself. Um, I will say, and you'll see this in the in the B-roll, um, it's not as color correcting as I normally would want something to be. So this, I would say, is more of like a mix-in product. So um, it doesn't... I think in the B-roll you can see that like um, I have like a hive on my face, so I get hives and redness on my face a lot. Um, and you could, a good example is going to be in the B-roll of like there's a hive like more towards like I think the um, like the left side of my face, like on my chin, and it didn't really cover the redness of that in the way that like something like my Herborean CC Color Correct um, BB cream that I have uh, does. And so this is, this seems like more of like a mix-in product for me, like to mix in with either a foundation, a skin tint, or a concealer that might be a little too like pink leaning or a little too warm for me. Um, not that I, it makes me dislike it because I think that like, as you can see on my face today, like I think that this looks absolutely stunning. Like I, I look like I'm having a really good skin day. Um, but yeah, it's not as green as I expected it to be, but it doesn't make me dislike it. Another thing, also, um, I should say that this is $37, so it's not cheap, like a Givenchy. But the, the packaging, like you get a lot of product in this. Like this is not a small packaging at all. Um, I will mention that this is plastic, which I don't, you know, I don't really care if it's glass. Um, it looks like it's glass, but it's actually like a very hard plastic. So traveling with this will be very nice. Um, but it's very ornate. It's very lovely. Like it, it's a very beautiful piece of like makeup to be sitting on your nightstand or whatever. Um, but my, <laughs> my only qualm, honestly, there's a scent. And this scent, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like the scent, but it's not enough yet to dissuade me from using it. I was really afraid with how scented this is that I would be able to smell it throughout the day. But honestly, I don't think that I can smell it, or at least I haven't noticed it yet. And I have been wearing this full face of makeup for about like five hours now or so. And as you can see, it's held up pretty well because it's pretty hot outside today. Um, but yeah, that is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Corrector, the green color corrector. Also, just really quick, I did go in with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is uh, a new tube, but I didn't purchase it during the Sephora sale. This was just a backup that I had. I used this in the shade 3W, and it mixed with the Givenchy Color Corrector very beautifully. The formulas, they just go together. It's very beautiful. 
as you can see. Yeah, but um, even with just using the concealer, um, you still could see some of that red where with other color correctors, that redness and like my hives and irritation from like, you know, the issues that I have with my skin, which is a lot of like redness and like allergies, like hives and stuff like that popping up. Um, usually mixing it with my concealer like you wouldn't be able to see but with this you can but it does leave a very healthy looking luminous finish without being tacky um these two together they're very beautiful so next i actually got with some uh, of my sephora points and this is the benefit um fluff up brow wax so this is just the little mini version i was pretty intrigued because honestly i have really enjoyed every single brow product I've ever tried from Benefit. So of course, like when this came out, I was like, okay, like I'll, I'll spend my points on this. And so this is just supposed to be like a light fluffy wax. It's not supposed to be like that laminated, like clear, hard, like slicked up brows that I normally do. So I did take this product with that in mind. Um, this is a very basic, like, brow wax like honestly i can't say that it's really anything special it feels pretty lightweight um it doesn't feel like it has like any sort of like major impressive hold um it's just kind of like mid for me and honestly like if you are going to be spending like 24 to like 28 dollars on a brow product um, you want it to kind of wow you. And so like there are at least three products from the drugstore in the brow department that wow me and um, the 24-hour um, like brow laminator um, from Benefit uh, does wow me as well. So I would much rather spend my money on that, but I did buy this with my points, so I, I technically didn't spend any money on it. Um, but I don't think it's bad. It's just, you know, not my preference, but it's, you know, it's fine like my brows look good this next product I have been wanting for years and for some reason I just never pulled the trigger I just I was just like oh I don't need that I don't need that but for some reason like lately I've just been really wanting it and it is the Gucci bronzer this puppy retails for 64 US doll hairs it's very beautiful as you can see um, it has this like gorgeous component Okay, we're gonna open her up. I got this in the shade uh, two. What did I do? Look at this, how it just comes up. Try not to blind you. Comes up like this, and then it has its little like secret compartment for the, for the brush. I don't use the brush, but I'm keeping it in there so it stays like a complete collection, as you see. But look at this, it's, it reminds me of like a little music box. It's so beautiful. This formula is pretty stunning. I was so pleasantly surprised. Um, it's very velvety. It's very pigmented. It blends out. Like the when I first put it on my face, I was very like surprised with how pigmented it is. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like the Victoria Beckham, like light velvety layers, but this is like sudden pigment that's very, very apparent. But it blended out so seamlessly and it's so beautiful. The undertone of it is like this very natural, um, it's just like such a natural bronze that I think that the shade range is really impressive and really beautiful. A lot of people who are very fair complected use the lightest shade. They use shade one and I guess it has like this like contour-esque uh, rosy undertone. But I got shade two because I do like the little bit more of like red in my bronzer. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I'm so pleasantly surprised and I am so happy I finally bought it because not only is the compact beautiful, but the product inside is equally as beautiful. Next is blush. So this is also another product that I've been wanting for at least a year and a half and has been in my likes for that long. And for some reason in the past like four Sephora sales or so, I just haven't picked it up. But um, this time I did, and I'm very, very happy because look at my cheeks. Oh, so this is the uh, Rouge Blush by Dior in the shade uh, Charnel. Maybe it's Carnel, I'm not sure, Charnel. Um, it is this beautiful, like, neutral with a little bit of like an apricot sheen to it. Like, my cheeks just look stunning. Like, this almost looks like it was like a liquid blush, like this, blended out beautifully it layered in the most like 
elegant like this performs like luxury makeup like this is exactly what I think of when I think of like a luxury formula is this Dior blush like it just layered on top of this already beautiful bronzer like they just are a match made in heaven to be completely honest like they're they work beautifully together yeah I am not disappointed with this blush at all like it just like, I don't have any highlighter on. I don't even have the Hollywood Flawless filter on my face. Like, this is just natural, like, beautiful luminescence from this blush. Like, it's so stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm so happy that I finally have it. I went to purchase this when I was in Ireland, and they were sold out. And I have heard, like, a bunch of people on the, on the interwebs here talking about how like Sephora is like the only place where you can really find the Dior blushes and when I was talking to this uh person who worked at this department store and I was at the Dior counter I was like oh are they discontinuing it and she said now this is her saying this so I don't want to like you know say it's 100 percent true but this is what she told me she told me that they're repackaging the Dior blushes um because everybody has been talking about how they're kind of afraid that they're being discontinued but the person at the store in Ireland told me that these are being repackaged so they haven't sent any out yet and so Sephora must have this very large surplus of the blushes and that's why they're not sold out um but I really hope it's true I really hope it's true and that they are not indeed you know discontinuing this because why would you they're they're perfect so this video is very Dior heavy. Now for the eyes. Um, this is the one of the quints and this is in the shade Soft Cashmere. So on my recommendations video, I recommended this palette. Um, or I, I recommended um, Beige Mitza, which is a single by Dior. And um, I didn't realize that the singles weren't sold at Sephora. <laughs> I felt so silly. Um, and then in the description box, I recommended this palette because this, I was like, this is something I've been eyeing for a really long time. And there's a couple of shades in there that can give you a very similar, if not the same effect as Beige Mitza. But this one is in soft cashmere and oh, this is like Beige Mitza's like very glamorous older sister. Like you get it all. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that's a better swatch of it all. But um, it's honestly like one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Like, wowie wow. Like it is, it, it, I mean, she's it. She's really it. Like this is everything that I wanted it to be. It sits so beautifully on the eyes. I feel like you could do this as like, um, like a very structured, smoky look, a, just a very simple look, or you could do any of these colors as one and dones and they would blend out to be a very beautiful simple eye like it is just everything I wanted it to be and I mean this is like I think it's like $62 let me look on here um yeah it's the um five color couture eyeshadow palette in 669 soft cashmere is $62 so it's not cheap but the formula is exquisite packaging is exquisite. The mirror is phenomenal. It's just so good. Another point purchase. This is the Dior Show Mascara. Very, very cute. Um, the wand is um, hilariously proportioned to the rest of the component. Uh, it's, it's just a little silly and I don't want to say that it's hard to work with but it's just like it's so large so I'm <laughs> I mean, I think that this would be the same size as the actual one. I would hope so, but like, if it's not, it's just a little silly, but um, it performed beautifully. Um, it hasn't flaked, it hasn't smudged. I've had this on, it's very hot outside. I've gone on several walks today and ate lunch outside. Um, and it has lasted, it looks very voluminous. I even got a compliment on my eyelashes today. So that's usually the goal. You know, it's a good <laughs> mascara when you get a compliment on your eyelashes. So um, yeah, this is a really good mascara. Um, very volumizing, very buildable. It's not like crunchy crunchy, like my eyelashes currently feel pretty soft. 
Um, yeah, but I mean, that's as much as I can say about it right now. We'll see how it washes off, whether it's hard to remove or if it's an easy wash off. I'm not really sure. I just kind of bought this on a whim because I've never tried a Dior mascara before, but I have to say that, I mean, color me impressed. I'm just like really into Dior now. Okay, and now on to lip liners. I got the Sephora brand uh, Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I got this in two shades, um, in the shade 01 The Nudist, which is this beautiful contour color. It's, it's kind of a, a gray leaning kind of taupey nude. Um, it's the most perfect contour color for a variety of skin tones. It's, it's honestly amazing. Like, it's really, really great. These are so smooth. Um, the term gel, I think it's like the best way to describe these things. It just glided on and blended out and lasted. Like these, these deserve all the hype and they're only like $15. And then with the 30% off, bada bing, like it's good. It's great. So I got the shade, um, 01 The Nudist, which like I said, is this beautiful contour shade. And then I got the shade, oh, what are you? Oh, two, and this is nothing but nude. So two nudes, one warm and one cool, which honestly, that's that's all you really need. Um, so that is number two and that is number one. As you see, very easy, very creamy, and they last a long time. Um, I've yet to sharpen one of these, but they are like a retractable thing, like you can like, like to get more product, this is a plastic component, and to get more product, you do have to twist it. But on the ends here, you do have a little sharpener. So when it, your little nubby gets all flat, you just, and you just put her back. So we'll see how convenient that actually is. Um, normally I just stick to wooden pencils and use a normal sharpener. Um, but yeah, these are, these are new for me and I'm excited to uh, give them a fair shot in my life. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them as I am with like a lot of Sephora collection. Um, I just do think that they have a lot of luxury-esque formulas for a very affordable price. So give these a shot. This last product I have been wanting for at least I don't know, like three years or something. I don't know. I've been seeing this for so long and for some reason, like in my head, I'm like, I'm not paying $28 for a lip gloss. Like I haven't paid more. You know what I mean? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. But this is the Clarins lip oil. I got this in the shade Honey. And oh my God, it's absolutely incredible. This is the formula that I wanted the Merit lip oils to be. The Merit lip oil is so dry. It's like a dry oil. It made my lips more dry. Like there was nothing hydrating about them. Like the color didn't last. Like it, it was like a five, it's like a five minute lip oil. And then it's like, why did I even spend my money on this? Because my lips are dry again. This, mm, it's not sticky, but it just has this like amazing, like gooeyness to it. Like honey is the best name for this. And it smells like middle school. Like, oh my God, like this is so gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. Um, it's not as nourishing feeling as my Tower 28 um, lip jelly, but it's, it's a pretty close one. Like it's very gorgeous. It's so nice. And this paired with the um, uh, Sephora gel liner in 01, uh, and this, like, is this my new favorite lip combination? I don't know, but it's definitely an everyday look and it really wrapped up my makeup look in such an elegant, beautiful, glossy, glossy way. Like this is everything I wanted it to be. And I'm so happy that I like it because I've been coveting it for years, like years. And I'm so happy I finally have it. And I'm just, I'm gonna use this up and I will repurchase it. Okay, so that is the final look and everything came together beautifully. And this is what it looks like about five hours later. My skin is holding up. Everything is holding up. The only thing that I've reapplied is my lip gloss. And like, I've been like really hot. I've gone on several walks. It just looks like I'm having like a good skin day.
like everything looks really good. Thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!